These waste warriors have one very important job. Our job out here really is just to, to get the streets cleaned up. To that end, they patrol Melbourne's northern suburbs. It doesn't take long to find some dumped rubbish. First, there's a bit of paperwork. Then they knock on the neighbour's door. It's not an attack on anyone. It's not an assumption that they're, you know, they're definitely placed it out. Yeah. It's just an educational side of things. We just want people to be doing the right things so that there is less waste out on the street. If there's no one home, they'll leave a note detailing how rubbish can be disposed of legally. Then they tape up the rubbish. We will re-attend in two days to see if it's been removed or not. Most of the time, it is. A week earlier, this nature strip in Jakarta had a big pile out the front. When we arrived, that's originally how it looked. Now it's all clear. Before the waste team got involved, the council would end up cleaning up 95% of dumped rubbish on residential streets. Since the team started last year, the residents are cleaning up more than 75% of cases, saving the council more than $400,000 in five months. But it's still a big job. It's a huge issue. It's one of the top complaints which comes through to us as councillors. We know it costs our municipality $4.7 million every year in clean-up costs. The council wants the state government to reconsider recent increases to the waste levy that's charged at the tip gate. The levy has nearly doubled since 2021. I think the intended effect is to reduce the waste, but it's actually costing our council and our community more money to dispose of waste. It's leading to uh, people not doing things the right way. The government says the waste levy funds programs to improve waste management. Margaret Paul, ABC News, Melbourne.